Hello everyone, welcome back to my lecture series on strategic management and we are in the fourth chapter and we are discussing about strategic analysis and planning. And we, in the initial two videos, we discussed introduction about uh, strategic planning and also we discussed about situation analysis. In situation analysis, uh, to perform situation analysis, we have various tools, SWOT, TOS, Pestel analysis, Porter's five factors, and the five forces and 5C analysis. As per your syllabus, we need to focus only on these two SWOT analysis and TOS. In this video, my focus is on SWOT analysis, and in the next video, I will cover TOS analysis. SWOT analysis, let's recap a little bit what we discussed in environmental analysis. So, in the second chapter, we discussed environmental analysis. There are two types of environmental analysis we do. What are those two? Internal environment and external environment. When we do internal environment assessment, like how is my HR performing, human resource teams are performing, how much fund is available, what are our product lines, how they are performing in market, Okay, how is our senior management and decision making process? When we do all these things, we will come to know two important things. One is strength of the company. What are my strengths? And then what are our weaknesses? Okay, we have good product line, but we don't have fund to expand it. So that is a weakness. Good product line is strength don't have funds for expand is a weakness like this when we do internal assessment or analysis we will come to know our strength and weaknesses then same way when we do external environment assessment we will come to know what are opportunities in the market what are the opportunities in the market and what are the threats in the market what does it mean when we do external environment may what what analysis we are carrying out we do competitor strategies how is market condition how is government stability of the government legal condition of the situation country economic conditions of the country all these analysis we do in external environment by doing this we will come to know what are the opportunities exist in the market and what are the threats in the market so with internal environment we will come to know what are the strength what are the weaknesses what are the uh, with external environment we will come to know what are opportunities and what are the threats so yes w o t so systematic performance of internal and environment uh, and external environment to identify strength weaknesses opportunity and threat is called as SWOT analysis guys hope you are clear what is SWOT analysis SWOT analysis is nothing but do we performing internal environment and external environment to know strength weaknesses opportunities and threats so the first letters of each of these words taken and frame the word SWOT analysis Let's go back to our slide. So we did, we know about internal and external environmental analysis. So when we do internal environment, we'll come to know strength and weaknesses. External environment, we come to know opportunities and threat. Okay, so it is a combination of both internal and external environment. So is this applicable only for any companies? When we do company analysis, then only we have to apply for SWOT analysis? No. We can do for any individual also. As an individual, you should know, like you should know your internal factors, like what are your strength? Can I pursue CA or can I pursue CS or I'm, can I do engineering, etc. based on your strengths and other things? Also, we should know what are the weaknesses of yours? Are you good in numbers? Are you good in analysis? Are you interested in so you should know what all are your weaknesses first year and then also 
you can do external environment what are the market opportunities if you do this course and what are the threats okay so for any individual also they can do swot analysis for a group of people for products you have five product line for each of the product line we can you can perform swot analysis if a company is having five products in it okay maruti is having many car models right they can perform swot analysis for each of these cars same way it is not only for uh, individuals such thing you can also do for complete industry automobile industry what are the strength of this industry and so what is the use of doing strength weakness opportunity and threat analysis so simple is we should bank on our strength overcome our weaknesses explore all the opportunities and expand the business and avoid make a strategies to avoid threats let's see little more detail what all we do in strength analysis weakness analysis opportunity and threat i have put a simple dashboard here for the sake of easy understanding strengths what is strengths strengths are nothing but a competitive advantage of a company over its competitors clear guys in what way our company is much better if our company is much better then we can say that it is strength for the company core competencies where company can excel so certain companies are good in doing certain types of work okay if they are good in that and they can expand that business more for example <coughs> toyota they can do well in automobile segment right that is their core competency okay so they can excel there so this is again strength for them and if the company is having a good recognition in the market then those all are good strength so strength is a competitive advantage and where core, core competency is there where we can excel and also a good recognition other few examples is brand identity okay pioneer cost advantage you have a big plant and we can produce where you can produce a goods at a very cheaper rate so then that gives you a cost advantage continuous uh, continuous business improvements so you would keep on doing the way of toyota toyota way of working continuous improvement working so in that way that is also a strength and presence in the global market company is not depending on one market they are depending on they are selling across the globe if there is a recession in one country they can keep selling in other country so that way the risk is mitigated there diversified product long history diversified product means multiple products in multiple segments so all these are strengths if company is having good brand identity multiple products long history customer loyalty all these are going to be a strength for company this is what we do in company analysis sorry uh, internal environmental analysis so this is a favorable situation so that's all about strength coming to weaknesses what are weaknesses areas that need improvement in the company weaknesses are nothing but areas that need uh, improvement in company's performance if they are not doing it then it will put company in disadvantage position against competitors if you are not improving it if your quality of the product is poor compared to your competitor and if you are not improving it you will be in disadvantage position so any areas of improvement if you are not doing it then it will place company in disadvantage position against competitors and that is called as weaknesses what all are those things low profit margin seasonality failure to develop the product gradual transfer of customer loyalty not having unique selling propositions 
everybody like i suggest you should know what is usp when we make a strategy unique selling proposition unless if your company is not having differentiated approach for the product unique selling proposition from the competitors then it is a big weakness for any company okay so we know what is what are strengths and now what are weaknesses now let's see what are opportunities okay so opportunities are nothing but the favorable factors in the external environment that will help companies to improve current position today you are selling 10000 car and salaries are rising young people are buying cars now instead of bike these are opportunities so we can expand business okay so that's all about opportunities so any favorable factors that will improve company's current position those are all called as opportunities for example growing market for your product as i said young people count is increasing and they are buying car so that's a product uh, that's a opportunity okay. increase awareness in the marketplace if your company's brand is well recognized and people are accepting it in a wider way then that is also an opportunity reach to a geographical areas rural or untapped market for example luxury cars who are not part for rural areas or some tier 2 tier 3 cities but now that is untapped market for them so they can go and sell in those market if because salary levels are high, raising there also in the tier 2 tier 3 cities so that's and few players in the market if there are only few players so it is easy to fix the price and play the cards so that is another advantage of opportunity so these all are our opportunities so we covered strength we discussed weaknesses and just now touched upon opportunities now threats what are our threats threats is threats are external environmental factors that has potential to hurt the firm success here we saw that where it is going to improve the firm's position threat as going to hit hurt the firm's position or it is going to have negative impact okay what a best example is entry of a large player in the market so far our uh, lic life insurance corporation of india was enjoying dominant position but with the introduction of all insure privatization of insurance many large players are getting into it its market shares are coming down day by day so entry of large player in the market is a big threat for any existing uh, players the best example what we can see now is uh, in a telecom sector airtel idea bsnl all these have good market uh, uh, shares but with the entry of jio it, it spoiled their fortune in india right so jio has occupied the leading position now in a telecom sector so entry of a large player in the market itself is a big threat and accordingly so idea and we what a phone got merged now unless they compete in that scale it is very difficult to sustain that's why okay so competitor strategies are threat strong competitive strategies and then changing youth tastes health issues high input cost cyber security issues patent infringement all these are threats for a company okay so we discussed strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats strength and opportunities these two are favorable and helpful situations weaknesses and threats are 
unfavorable situation so what we have to do we have to bank on our our strength utilize our strength to capture opportunities and overcome all the weaknesses and avoid threats this is all about swat analysis and let us see few examples which are given in your icsi study material i have copied and pasted here the same screens i hope it is not a copyright infringement here uh, amazon case study which is uh, uh, strength weaknesses opportunities and threat what are the strengths for amazon its brand identity people will blindly go and buy on amazon because they have trust in them because they respect people uh, uh, having trust because they can refund they can get refund quickly and it's all the products are protected by amazon's piracy and other policies etc so we we go with amazon brand identity pioneer advantage cost advantage continuous business improvement what we are seeing with amazon r so weaknesses are low profit margin seasonality because they are giving a huge discounts and their sales will be during festival periods that's why we will say seasonality is a weakness for them opportunities diversification of e-commerce business continuous increase in awareness of the own branded product amazon started introducing their own products like solimo own brand solimo veduka food etc where they have a huge profit margin because it is enjoying a brand loyalty they are now that's why to leverage that they are introducing their own product lines the expansion of local businesses promoting of strategic cooperation with affiliated industries these all are the opportunities threat loss of profit due to a low profit margin patent infringement e-commerce industry barriers cyber security issues these all are the threats for amazon same way coca cola case study is here what are the strength it is sponsoring many many corporate uh, events spread across uh, every country like almost 200 countries and uh, uh a 60 plus regions selling of uh, not only coca cola but they also have other types of uh, beverages they have uh, i think fanta right they also have thumbs up and even still they are continuing with limka many beverages they are selling long history with good status so people knows about this brand name for a long time and what are its weakness failure to develop new taste people are buying coke because of its original taste only so they are not trying to uh, do a lot of changes in the new taste and other things but those they have added zero coke, zero calorie coke etc but still the product line is not as used as others uh, companies gradual transfer of companies uh, customers loyalty customer are switching from coke to pepsi or even to a good nature fresh uh, juices and other things so that customer loyalty they are losing it and there is no scope for development of market because they are already in 200 plus countries they have reached every corner of the world so it is again Uh, less scope for development of uh, market but they have to maintain sustainability is important for them so what are opportunities they are sponsoring olympic games they are sponsoring world cup and they entered into a rural markets etc threats pepsi is a biggest competitor for them and also people are hesitant to drink coke or other other uh, aerated waters because of some health reasons these all are threats for coca cola that's all about uh, swat analysis we discussed what is swat analysis and then few two case studies here thank you so much guys please subscribe my channel and also share it with your friends that will motivate me to make more and more videos for you guys thank you thank you so much.